quick test for satellite reception with uh, the UBTX. So this is a uh, XW2F uh, satellite. Okay, so this is the frequency. Of course, there is some Doppler effect, and according with the Doppler effect, you have some uh, frequency shifting. Okay, this is a signal I can receive here on my on the SDR receiver. The, so the SDR receiver is tapped directly on the um, UBTX uh, 45 megahertz uh, IF frequency. Okay, so make a test without uh, the SDR. Okay. Okay, also the signal is quite good. Okay, go back on the on the SDR receiver. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the satellite is uh, over there. We can see. So as you can see, the the receive signal is really, really strong, really strong, no problem. So I'm using a cubical quad a dual band VHF UHF antenna. This is a for VHF, if I'm not mistaken, a six element, and for UHF it's about eight elements. Yeah. So this antenna is working perfectly. Okay, so that's set for today. So here just the transverter. I talked to about this transverter a few few weeks ago. So it's from Ukraine. It's working quite quite good for receive. But as I said, for the transmit part, you need to modify uh, uh, the bias of the transistor to add uh, some additional filter. You need also to modify the uh, frequency change uh, crystal with a PLL. You need to add a PLL because there is a, a little bit shift according with the frequency. If I'm not mistaken, it's about a 10, uh, 10k, uh, 10k uh, frequency shifting. So um, I had a PLL with a DSS uh, VFO and uh, according with a AD. Uh, uh, 98 to 50, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I have some problems sometimes. So yeah, this is a, just a quick demonstration according with the UBTX uh, capabilities. The only issue, this is, uh, according with, uh, the frequency. I need to work on the, the software in order to modify the frequency display. In fact, in order to display the frequency, the real frequency I am using. So I'm start to work on it, but from now it's not successful, unfortunately. So I will keep you updated according with uh, my progress regarding the software modification. So, so far so good. So this is uh, according also with uh, the, the computer I'm using. It's a Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 3. Yeah, I'm using uh, this uh, little uh, micro computer for everything. So this is all I need for RTTY, uh, FT8, uh, SATCOM, and so on. And this is more than enough. And uh, for the receiver, this is a JQ RX uh, SDR software. It's working perfectly on the Raspberry Pi 3. Okay. Okay, so far so good. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye bye. So this is the second part of the video. This is not to just uh, the previous video. You have uh, mostly the, the beacon. So let's see if there is some traffic. Sorry, I cannot do all the things at the same time, but let's see if there is some traffic currently. Oh yeah, there is something. Some people talking already. Wow. Yeah, there is some traffic. This is a CW. 
Let's try to catch uh, some uh, SSB traffic. Uh, it's a weekday, perhaps there is not a lot of people. Okay. Okay, there is some uh, active. Uh, Yeah. CW. Yeah, it's a French station. Yes, yeah, so far so good. This is just to, to show you. Uh, oh, it's quite easy even with a UBTX. A very cheap transceiver with, of course, a significant amount of modification, but you can manage for really uh, <coughs> a low price, in fact, to achieve uh, some good communication system and even for SATCOM. So, okay, let's go back on the beacon, maybe. If the beacon's still active. I have no idea. I think the satellite gone. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, no, it's still there. Uh, you can see the Doppler effect. That means it's going to disappear very, very, very soon. I think it's very low on the horizon now. Let's check. Oh, yeah. It start to be quite low. Let's see. 2 F. Yeah, it's only 16 degree. It's only 16 degree uh, low on the horizon now. Uh, now it start to to disappear, but still I can manage to, to catch him, no problem. Okay. So yeah, sorry. Uh, it's difficult for me to manage or uh, to transmit and receive and to make to shoot this video at the same time so next time i will find a system to uh put uh steady my uh my phone and to shoot a video uh, according with when i'm processing some uh, contact on uh, satcom so that's all for today bye bye okay uh, this is the last part of uh, the video for today this is how to set up in fact the jqrx rsdr software with uh, the ubtx so just to rewind about what i said before so the sdr is connected at the back with a, a sma plug and i tap the sdr from the cw01 uh, plug uh, on the circuit board for the ubtx this tap uh, point is the 48 megahertz if uh, it's the output of the 45 megahertz uh, if uh, mixing and after that what you need to do this is to set up in fact your ubtx according with this configuration so what i need to do this is of course use here the sdr menu you know according with uh, to activate the sdr on the memory manager according with the sdr part i put uh, 30 megahertz uh, frequency shift and i choose the option zero on the memory manager and after according with the jqrx uh, software what you need to do this is to put here minus 30 megahertz shifting this is to in order to provide the correct if for your sdr receiver and you will see here on the rtl sdr uh, configuration sorry for the quality of the video is so this is a sound standard setting input rate i put uh, one eight uh, 
180 80 and for the LNB LO this is where I put minus 30 megahertz according to the IF in uh, for the SDR receiver that's all this is all you need to do and uh, it's quite straightforward uh, yeah you see you can activate it yeah here you are I have the of course it's not tapping uh, that's all that's all you need to do according with the RTL SDR uh, add-on for the UBTX thank you thank you for watching So in order to be complete, according with my explanation for the SDR RTL, uh, you know, add-on for the UBTX, this is uh, where in the um, UBTX memory manager you need to uh, apply the setup. So this is what I explained just before. Here on the SDR menu, you have the SDR offset frequency for the IF of the uh, <coughs> RTL SDR uh, uh, dongle so here this is a 30 megahertz uh, I had I choose auto save and according with the frank SDR frequency mode you need to choose zero so there is one thing also I forgot to explain uh, in the previous uh, video uh, going to open the SDR okay So you will notice that according with the frequency here, according with uh, this setup, there is no cat control according with the the GQRX SDR software receiver. You need to put zero megahertz here. You will see here on the receive, sorry, frequency, it's zero. That means that everything is controlled by the UBTX. So the frequency you display on the UBTX, this is what you receive here on the SDR. So it's a different way. Last time I was using another software, it was working that differently. And um, I can uh, have the cat control with uh, the the GQR, the software receiver, but in fact, it was not so convenient because uh, it's far, by my point of view, it's far more convenient to control everything from one uh, uh, input, that's mean the UBTX, instead to have a, you know, two device you need to control. That means the UBTX plus also the the uh, GQRX, for example. So this is the option I choose. There is perhaps other option you can uh, set up, but this is where I feel uh, the more comfortable according with uh, SATCOM communication because uh, you you need to 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 be uh, aware that uh, when you 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 activate on you you traffic make some traffic on the on satcom you need to control your your transmitter at least it's not the sdr receiver i use the sdr receiver mostly because it's more convenient because i have a panoramic display and i can you uh, easily you know choose uh, the frequency i want uh, to talk but for the control i prefer to control here uh, on the UBTX. In fact, the SDR rec uh, receiver on the Raspberry Pi is only the display. Well, so, also there is one thing also I forgot to explain on the UBTX. There is the, the split, you know, uh, uh, option. That means you have the transmit on the receive. So, I can make an example. Just, you see, here, this is just for the example, 14 megahertz up 33, 14, 33. And I modify everything. That means I switch automatically according with the split 
the transverter. So the transverter, I don't have to do anything on the transverter. It's switching on its own. So I, have a, I make some modification again on the UBTX in order to control also the transverter in order to have nothing to do. So what you need to do, in fact, this is to prepare carefully according with the frequency you want to transmit and receive according with the two VFO. So you can use the memory manager on what it's... Uh, it's up to you. You prepare all the frequency for transmit and receive. You activate the split. And that's it. You're ready for transmit and receive. Of course, the only problem, this is the, the Doppler effect. But the, for the Doppler, you just adjust. You always adjust on the receive part. You never uh, move the transmit part. The transmit part, you leave it like this. And you need, according with the Doppler, just to adjust the receive part. So you have one hand to adjust the Doppler on one hand, uh, on the other hand, to, to talk and to uh, uh, activate your paddle for the CW. There is a software to control the Doppler effect, but so far it's, it's okay. But I think uh, you need to perform a lot of calibration on this software and it's not working as expected. So I prefer to control manually on in fact, you know, it's not so, so difficult after when you get used, it's quite um, very natural the way you are going to control the, the receiver part. Okay. So this is just to provide you extra explanation about how to set up the UBTX and so on, how to set up GQRX, how to set up the memory manager and so on and so on. Sorry, I cannot open my UBTX. I open quite a lot, in fact, but uh, just to remind you that I tap the, the input of the SDR on the CW1 uh, from the 45 megahertz uh, uh, IF frequency. This is all you need to do. You can also uh, tap on the receive part. You have a better panoramic uh, display, more bandwidth. But what I noticed that the, I test both. And in fact, the reception was far, far better. And the quality was far better when I tap on the 45 megahertz uh, IF uh, mixing. So I try also on the directly on the receive uh, and transmit relay, but no, the, the, the receive quality was not as good as the IF frequency uh, tapping uh, input. Okay, so that's all for today. Now, <laughs> bye bye. This is Fox 5 November Papa Vito QRT.